Raiders 2019 season preview coming at you here. Mitchell Renz from Chat Sports. The Oakland Raiders have, I would say, the hardest NFL schedule that there is. They're going to play seven teams that made it to the playoffs last year. They're going to play seven teams that had 10 or plus wins. But the reason why everyone's excited about the Raiders, you add Antonio Brown. You have Tyrell Williams. You have Trent Brown. All these players are going to help quarterback Derek Carr. Now, sure, they did lose Marshawn Lynch. You did lose Kalecio Semele. And their main receiver last season, Jordy Nelson, who uh, is already retired. But here's the thing with the Oakland Raiders. They've had only one winning season the last 16 years. So they need to get it started right away. Week one, Monday night football against the Denver Broncos. The Denver Broncos have a brand new quarterback in Joe Flacco. And then you got the Chiefs, the Vikings, the Colts. It doesn't get any easier than for the Oakland Raiders because then they got to go to London. You're going to go to London where you're going to play the Chicago Bears. Now think about this. You got those first five weeks against all tough games. And then finally you get your week six bye. Then you're on the road again against the Packers. Then you're on the road again against the Texans. Heck, then you're finally home for week nine against the Lions. The last home game that the Raiders would have had was week two. Week 10 through week 13. It doesn't really get much easier with the Chargers. Then you're finishing it off with the Kansas City Chiefs. Then week 14 through the 17. You finish with the Chargers and Broncos, but week 15 is special against the Jags because it will be the last game in Oakland. So the Raiders have a really, really tough schedule, right? Now, this is what I want you guys to do. If you're watching us here on YouTube, predict the Raiders record. I want you to comment below. So like I said before, the Raiders have the hardest schedule in the NFL in terms of win-loss percentage from the year before that. And also, if you guys want to subscribe, youtube.com slash chatsportstv, we would definitely, definitely appreciate that. Now, if you think the Raiders are going to go to the playoffs, this is what you need to do. you got to put your money where your mouth is. Go to my bookie, chatsports.com slash Raiders. Use that promo code. Do it. I, I dare you. Go Raiders, 100% deposit bonus. If you put down $100, my bookie's cool enough, they're actually going to match it. You're going to give you $100 back. You want to put down $300? Guess what? $300 for free. My bookie has hooked this up with this unbelievable offer. Go ahead and use it. It's chatsports.com slash Raiders. Who knows? Put your money on the Raiders to go to the playoffs. All right, let's take a look now here at the Raiders schedule. The week one game against the Broncos. Monday night football. Let's see what Joe Flacco looks like in Oakland. The Raiders are excited to finally get started. And I think when in terms of rivalry, this is a fun AFC West game. Now, why is this game a key game for the Oakland Raiders? Because when you really think about what the Raiders have done in the past, when they win week one, it looks a lot better. So here's the last five times the Raiders went to the playoffs. They won their week one game. So if the Raiders can win week one, Against the Denver Broncos, that is the exact start Mike Mayock and John Gruden desperately, desperately need. So week two then, you got the Kansas City Chiefs. Hey, you're going up against Patrick Mahomes. Let's see what LaMarcus Joyner can do in that secondary. Jonathan Abram. Week three at the Vikings. The Vikings missed the playoffs last year, but Kirk Cousins is a very, very solid quarterback. So let's see what he can do with Adam Thielen and uh, Stephon Diggs. But Derek Carr, we can all agree, I think, here that Derek had a little bit of a bad year last year. Only 19 touchdowns a career low. He did have a career high in passing yards, but if Derek wants to be the Raiders quarterback in the future in Vegas, he needs to get it done this upcoming season. Week four is against the Colts in Indianapolis and Andrew Luck. Andrew Luck, 39 touchdowns last year, comeback player of the year. Andrew Luck, that offense, that defense, a lot more dynamic, a sleeper team to go bet on at my bookie. Now, week five, you got to go to London. Now, this is a home game for the Raiders, but you're going up against Khalil Mack. This is the Khalil Mack game. Mitchell Trubisky entering year three. The Bears last season, 12-4. and four. It's going to be a tough, tough test to see what the Raiders can do. Can the Raiders protect Derek Carr? The Raiders last season gave up 52 sacks, and I think if there's one guy... Khalil Mack, we know what he can do. Had 12 and a half sacks last year. Funny stat here. The Raiders, they only had 13. Then you got that week six bye. Give yourself a nice little break there for the Raiders. But then you got to go to Lambeau, where then you're going to get to meet this guy named Aaron Rodgers. Sure, he only had 25 touchdowns last year. But Aaron Rodgers, I think we can both agree, one of the best quarterbacks in the league. But here's the other thing that's interesting with the Raiders. A lot of different moving parts, right? So this is what who led the Raiders last year in rushing yards. Doug Martin with 723. 
Then Marshawn Lynch, he got hurt. Jalen Richard is a little bit better out of the backfield. The reason why I'm showing you that is because the Raiders this year went out and they got this guy named Josh Jacobs in the very first round and expect him to be the lead running back in this new look offense. Josh Jacobs out of Alabama had only 299 career touches. It'll be interesting to see what he can do. Pro tip, go bet on Josh Jacobs to win Rookie of the Year at my bookie. Week 8, the Texans. Another team that's been very, very good. Deshaun Watson, DeAndre Hopkins, Lamar Miller, new running back in Duke Johnson. This is a dynamic offense. And then week nine, finally, right? The Raiders, they get to go back home, get to play the Lions, Matthew Stafford, that new look defense. The Raiders, though, once again, it doesn't get any easier. So now let's look at games 10 through 13, where you have the Chargers on Thursday night football. Phillip Rivers still getting it done at age 37. Phillip Rivers in this offense with Keenan Allen. Is Melvin Gordon going to be playing by this time? Who knows? We'll see there. Melvin Gordon is a very, very talented running back who I think could actually impact this overall team. But the Chargers on Thursday night football, it's a very, very tough game for the Raiders. So Raider Nation, yeah, keep growing. Okay, we need to keep growing. Subscribe, youtube.com slash Raidersport. It's the number one Raiders YouTube channel. So if you're watching this, you're like, yeah, that's me. I love the Raiders. Go subscribe. YouTube.com slash Raiders Report is the number one Raiders YouTube channel. We are the most interactive. And if you don't understand this, for Chucky Heads Believe It Baby, it's because you're probably not a loyal subscriber. All right, let's get back into that schedule. Then you go, then we're going to play the Cle or Cleveland, the Cincinnati Bengals. Andy Dalton, Joe Mixon, A.J. Green, a talented offense, but we're going to be able to see what the Bengals can get it done because uh, if there's a bottom team in that division, it's probably the Bengals, right? I think we can uh, agree. And then you got the Jets. Le'Veon Bell rumors swirling all offseason. Is he going to go to the Raiders? No. We're going to get to see Adam Gase, his crazy eyeballs against the Raiders. Now, week 13 in Kansas City. Do we really want to see what the Raiders can do? This is going to be a real test, right? You're going into Kansas City where the Chiefs absolutely blew you out a year before that. The Raiders lost 35-3 last time they went to Kansas City. Yeah, that's not necessarily what you're trying to do. Patrick Mahomes, MVP, Raiders the secondary. It's a really, really good test for them. Now let's wrap up the season here for the Oakland Raiders. Week 14 against Marcus Mariota and the Tennessee Titans. Derrick Henry finished the last season very, very strong. Like, really strong. 12 rushing touchdowns, 7 of which came in those last 4 games. And uh, overall, this entire Titans team looks a little bit different. But also what's looking different is the Raiders receiving core. I mean, this is who's on the team. The only guy that's still on the team is Jalen Richard. That's pretty incredible. Jared Cook, he's now with the Saints. Jordy Nelson, retired. Seth Roberts, gone. Amari Cooper with the Cowboys. So the Raiders have a new look offense, and it's led by Antonio Brown. Antonio Brown, six straight years of over 1,000 yards. Career high 15 touchdowns last year. Tyrell Williams, another solid receiver who's going to be able to stretch the field. Hunter Renfro, the rookie out of Clemson, a very, very talented player. But it doesn't just stop there. Remember how I said that you lost Jared Cook? Well, someone needs to make up for those 68 receptions and 896 yards. Look for Darren Waller to be a sleeper. And for those of you that play fantasy, consider this. Darren Waller has been unguardable in terms of reports. And also John Gruden has called him the NFL's best kept secret. Now let's go to week 15 against the Jacksonville Jaguars. And for those of you Raider fans out there, this is going to be a bittersweet one, the last game in Oakland. And I'm hoping that I'm there watching it with you. So last season, the Jags at 5-11, and 11, but don't sleep on them. They just added a new quarterback in Nick Foles. And heck, in 2017, they played in the AFC Championship game against the New England Patriots. Week 16 against the Chargers, where you're going in now to Los Angeles. This might actually be a real home game for the Raiders. I think there's going to be more Raiders fans there than actual Chargers fans, but it's going to be a tough game for the Chargers. And then week 17 at the Broncos, another tough game there. So overall, week 15 Jags, week 16 at the Chargers, week 17 at the Broncos. So this is what I want everyone to do. We brag that we're the most interactive YouTube channel. I'm going to prove it to you guys. You want to make some money? How about this? Predict Antonio Brown's receiving yards. How many receiving yards for Antonio Brown in 2019? Okay, he had 1,297 a season ago. So what you need to do, you need to guess the exact yardage. And the first person that slides in my DMs, at Mitchell Renz 365 if you get the exact yardage correct, 
you're going to get a Venmo, $25 from me. So how many receiving yards for Antonio Brown in 2019?